Flux, and we're here again with Benedict, and we're going to do a full series of every single color of sapphires. So today we're going to start with yellows all the way through oranges, and we're going to break down, you know, like the price per carat, the different tones. Yeah, beryllium. <laughs> and beryllium. You guys keep asking about beryllium, so we're going to talk about that. Since we're talking about orange and yellow, mm -hmm. this is the video to talk about it because that's where we see the most uh, beryllium treated stones. Exactly. Um, maybe we can start with just explaining that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a diffusion treatment. So diffusion is that we're going to heat the stone and add some material, uh, not some material, but some elements to it. They used to do it a lot with chrome and vanadium, with sapphires and rubies. So chrome, rubies, and sapphires. But these um, elements are a bit bigger. So they would kind of like stick to the surface of the stone, mm -hmm. but then if you were to recut it, it would lose the color. Or so even probably just over time, right? It's it would have to like scratch or like abrade mm -hmm. all the surface, but as soon as you repolish, let's say, okay. it could it could go. Mm -hmm. But it's not like a coating like mystic topaz or some yeah. other topaz that it's still you're still adding elements. But it doesn't. It it just only stays kind of on the surface. It doesn't go deep because they're bigger elements. Beryllium is a small, small, small element. So it kind of it goes in the hole of the stone in the structure, and it kind of fills these holes, but all the way through um, okay. the core. So it's two types of beryllium: the surface one and the core one. And what beryllium is, it's core. It's a lot harder to detect, um, which like regular tools that we have in the office. As the surface diffusion, it's quite easy because the you'll see like the where the facets meet, mm -hmm. and to be darker, you can put it just like in, in baby oil, and you'll see like the weird colors on you. So this is easy. But beryllium, you need. A certificate to know. <laughs> in the trade, we can assume, or you know, like saturated, vivid yellows um, are beryllium treated, mm -hmm. and these like darker orange, um, like almost red, they're also beryllium treated. Mm -hmm. But this is not a bad thing. If we're speaking about this off camera. Um, it's quite stable. It's very stable. Um, like I think as um, long as it's disclosed, disclosed. It has to be yeah. disclosed. Um, in certificate, they will put uh, usually as a treatment they will put the H treatment, which is for heat, and then they will put uh, little brackets BE for mm -hmm. beryllium. If it's you know there's different type of heating, uh, this one. So if you get a certificate that just says it's heat treated, it's fine. But even that's it. So it's pretty stable. It's pretty well accepted, um, especially in like melee or like darker stones. You kind of need that to yeah. to have like bright colors for one millimeter. Stone. Yeah, that's that's exactly that because like we do get asked a lot of like smaller points. You're not even gonna see it. Like especially if you set it in yellow gold, it's just gonna be completely absorbed by the yeah. metal. So it's it's much better to have a saturated piece. And like even like the biggest. Um, jewelers or like watchmaker, they'll use beryllium treated. It's not like mm -hmm. a problem. I know, but you guys always like to come and ask me to find the stuff that's very hard to find. So now I'm gonna get clients <laughs> coming to me being like, I want beryllium free. Well, well that's, that's possible. possible. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's possible. possible. We can find yeah. it. But the other thing with the, because we're, we're gonna talk about price and all, and when it's beryllium treated, it's gonna be a bit lower in price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for yellow sapphires, for example, the prices are not that high, even for a no heat stone. Yeah. It's not like mm -hmm. pinks or blues. It's took the price of natural yellow kind of down. To, so it's not like big price change. It's mostly for the color, I would say. If yeah. you like the bright yellow. Yeah, and it's also just like a great diamond alternative, which we're gonna we're gonna go into alternatives soon, like some some color comparisons, but. If you're looking for a yellow without the diamond price side, this is a good one. Yeah. 
All right, so let's go into like the color range because as you said men mentioned earlier, you have like the very saturated to very pale. Yeah. So these are all uh, beryllium treated, the very yellow, and as you can see, it's very consistent. Mm -hmm. And you know, also when you have like those like multicolor bracelet or choker with all the bright colors, when you need 20 matching pieces mm -hmm. like that, you want it to match well in color, mostly it's going to be beryllium treated. Natural yellows will be a bit more like softer mm -hmm. colors uh, from light pink. This is a Montana, mm -hmm. so it's pretty saturated, but we can see some color zoning. Yeah. Um, it's not as sharp as these ones. And then we can have some more like brownish in it or a very like yellow. The paler ones I think are a little bit more in demand yeah. um, than the very saturated. Uh, but they're all beautiful and I think like you know if you put like this on a ring mm -hmm. like it almost looks like a yellow diamond like it does a, yeah kind of faint yellow it's very well kept so yeah it's gonna imitate a diamond better than those like very mm -hmm. and also like I've mentioned this on other videos but like if you have a stone a yellow stone that's very pale if you even just make the bezel under it and the prongs that are holding it in yellow gold this will help saturate it a little bit more if you wanted that. All right, so now we're going from like yellows all the way to the oranges. Yeah, oranges, they're trickier to for me to like, to say like, oh yeah, this is beryllium or not. These ones are all beryllium treated. These ones are all almost red. I don't know if we can see it on mm -hmm. the camera, but it's like, it's a very dark orange. But you also get some of these colors naturally, so it's hard, to be, we cannot really say if like with a loop or anything, but these one I would disclose as beryllium treated. And these ones, I actually have certificates here, and because it's, you can detect it. If you send it to a lab, they can tell you if it's been mm -hmm. um, beryllium treated or not. And they found some natural occurrence of beryllium in some stones. So you kind of need a lab to tell mm -hmm. you is it natural or was it put there. And so when you have a certificate for a stone, it's gonna be, so they're gonna tell you that it's uh, been heated. And with the code, it's only heat. If there was beryllium, they would add it uh, in the comment. And these ones, they also tested the um, color stability. Because you mm -hmm. know, now, uh, we've seen some orange and pinks and other kind of colors of sapphires to fade out. Really? Uh, so now they do a lot of like the... And is that when they're always naturally occurring or can it happen for heat as well, heat treated? I think it's mostly for treated and for, for treated stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And should you be worried? Or this is like over a, a hundred year process? Uh, no, I think it's quicker than that. Uh, I've never seen one that changed color. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know how, like, I don't sell them. I've never heard uh, of any of my song yet not being color mm -hmm. stable. So I don't know. I've only ever heard that for like the radiated stones, like tourmalines, yeah. I think. Or tourmalines yeah. will change. But tourmalines, you need like a lot of heat, let's mm -hmm. say. It's not just going to change like that. So let's go into some pricing because I know you guys love that part. So. So we have these that are all, I mean, this one's the smallest, 2.2. These are above um, three carats. So this is the most saturated, it's in the middle. This one's at uh, $4,000, 3.66 carat. This one, even if it's lighter, it's uh, no heat, so natural color. Mm -hmm. This one is 5,500. And then we have um, <clears throat> this one that's under, um, three carats, so it's 2.2, it's very, very light. This one's at 2,600. They're, they're not expensive for the size. Yeah, oh you no, know. yeah, in comparison to the other colors. Oh, that's it, very the good. yellows to get like a big, like three carat, um, it's pretty, it's it's good. So if you like yellow, um, I think it's one of the, I would say least expensive colors mm -hmm. in sapphire. So it's expensive than orange? I would say they're kind of unequal. Yeah, There's okay. maybe more requests for yellow mm -hmm. than orange, but um, orange, we're getting quite a lot of uh, requests for orange these days. And I think it's mostly people who have uh, maybe citrine, they mm -hmm. like citrine, but they, 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 they're just, they love orange and they want something more durable. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there, there's 
So I would say it's pretty equal. Mm -hmm. It was probably more just for like fashion jewelry. Yeah, Not fashion jewelry, but like everyday jewelry versus engagement ring. Yeah, thing. and the I would say the orange may be a bit um, higher in price than yeah. Oh, but look. Yeah. So these are the ones that uh, we showed the certificates earlier. Um, See this one, two, three, almost three carat, uh, 5,600, see? Mm -hmm. Pretty much the same size, pretty much the same price. And then some yellow, like this is not going to be expensive. This is 3,000. Um, this one is really nice because it's like a heart. It's not because it's a heart. I'm not a fan of, of I like them in the boxes, the heart shaped stones. Um, but for me, it's the color. Mm. It's like, Almost red. It's very hard, yeah, to to take with the the camera, so I don't know how it will look. It's like a very saturated orange, but my camera turns yeah. a bit pink. Yeah. yeah. So this one is five thousand, mm -hmm. and it's uh, three point twenty nine carat. I do a cute little choker with that, like a little heart, like yeah. a kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I no, do. It, for sure. It's. I mean, heart shape. We can talk about it for hours. I think it's you either love it or you hate yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I think the only celebrity I saw is like Lady Gaga, I think, has a heart shape ring. Yeah, I wouldn't get like expensive heart shape yeah. jewelry. <laughs> yeah. Now that we've gone into colors, prices, let's go into some comparisons of gemstones. Um, just so you can see. But the yellow sapphires, what I can say is that neutral, like it's a very yellow. Mm -hmm. the, the options you'll get in other yellow stones, um, you have chrysoberyls. But they tend to be a bit more on the greenish, mm -hmm. greener, mm -hmm. more than true yellow. And then you have the citrines that are going to be a lot more orange. But I don't, I don't think you can find a pale yellow. Like yeah. other than diamond, you're not going to find a pale yellow. Like citrine is always a little bit orange. Yes, it's um, it's always got, a, and it's not like comparable mm -hmm. at all, even in luster and everything. Yeah. But yellow, I would say, yeah, chrysoberyl, um, Heliodor, which is a yellow barrel, mm -hmm. like emeralds and aquamarine, um, lemon quartz, a bit more green. But see, these are all kind of like cooler mm -hmm. shapes of, of yellow, um, still very yellow. That true, like, cannery yellow, yeah. yellow mm -hmm. um, I think you can only get in sapphires. There are some yellow tourmalines also, mm -hmm. but they also tend to be a bit more like neon green. Mm -hmm yellow than yellow yellow the oranges you can find more true colors yeah. like these are pretty crazy my favorite honestly is the sparsite yeah this is very nice it's like it, it looks like candy that's what it looks like it's beautiful people mm. um so as uh, specertine is or specertine we say both um i know english speaker will say specertine more it's a garnet and it's just beautiful yeah. and crispy and people know a lot about the dark red garnets and mm -hmm. uh, this is not your grandma's garnet old no. beaten up ring this is amazing yeah it's like savorites the mentoid garnets are amazing and valuable because they're hard to find uh, yeah. without inclusions these ones yeah. and they will call them like uh, mandarin or fanta yeah fanta um, they, they will kind of use these words to like describe the color better but i would actually yeah. describe it as like a very orange fanta orange, orange. Yeah. and like just for comparison like this one is a three carats and you're looking at 1800. no whoops per right. carat per carat yeah, yeah. so it's <laughs> 5400 for this guy and this little one is 1.2 carats and it's about 1400. They're collector's pieces. Yes. But we just don't see them. I feel like you just don't see them. Like I, I haven't, no. yeah. like the only one I've seen with such yeah. high quality at this, at this carat rate. So yeah. Next we have Fire Opal. Fire Opal, I would say just for the color, um, mm -hmm. I was kind of going through trying to find bright orange. Again, it's, I think, even less comparable than Citrine because it's super soft, mm -hmm. it's kind of like hazy, it's not like a crispy, like the sapphires, but it's a bright, it's a pretty bright orange. This one's an Imperial Topaz, I just put it there because I love them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These are also hard to find, I think, yeah. Imperial Topaz. And sometimes they're more yellow, sometimes mm -hmm. they're more, um, like, almost red, but I think, like, that the luster kind of matches. I mean, that it's a hard stone. Um, you can get also quite the 
spectra of shades. Mm -hmm. and so I think if you're into these colors, uh, Imperial Tilt Mask might be something to look at. All right. Well, if you guys have any questions or if you're looking to make a custom piece, you know, send me a DM. My links are down below. And thank you so much, Benedict, yeah, again. Okay. And you guys, make sure you guys stay tuned because we're doing every single color. So we're going to be doing pinks, purples, greens, yellows. We did yellows. So, oh! <laughs> <laughs> we did yellows. Okay. Brain fog. All right. Well, thank you for watching and see you next time. <laughs>